Well, hi again. We're doing another test with the pack, the big pack again today, as you can see. We're back at the Waitakere to try that out. We're going to try and walk for an hour, but the pack's pretty full today, so we'll just see how we go. Here we are at the dam. Auckland's drinking water, or well, some of it. So we're going to try and walk if we have time, but if we don't, we'll just go for an hour or so and see where we get. We might come up and have a fish tomorrow morning. And, uh, it's quite empty today. We've been very empty. Still hasn't rained for a bit, it's been quite a dry summer. And we're parked just behind those trees down there. There's just a couple more shots. The intake structure, the dam, and the pump station for pumping it to Auckland. It was one of the first jobs I worked on back in the 70s. Water supply pipeline to Auckland. So there's some more views. This is from the Spillway end, so I doubt we much see much work lately. So, overflows, it goes down the hill, down here. Fish road 13 tons, so I'm really close to that. Quite nice looking at this thing full flow, I'd imagine. So oh, we've up a fair way now. There's a lake all the way down there. We've got a long way to go up, but it looks a bit better. Well, it's quite a nice walk in the bush. And I'm finding tiring. <laughs> anyway, onwards. Oh well. I'm getting a bit tired now, but we've taken a quick walk through the bush to the top of the hill until it started going down again I think it must go all the way through to Mangatangi down this track so I'm going to go back to the main track again Main tracks over there somewhere, so we've done a little bit of a detour.
As usual, I don't like steps. on the track sun's getting a bit low now so we're going to be back at campsite pretty late and there's the lake in the distance I'm getting sick and tired of walking up hills I know that much oh so at last this is probably it It's a bit further than they say, we've been 6.3, 6 kilometres. I don't believe they're side tracking, or maybe they're side tracks with a couple of coves. The original idea was to camp up here, which in hindsight I should have decided to do. But it's a lot, you know. well, at least I know where it is now. So. Toilet. Oh, this can be. Shed. Completely knackered. I've just got to walk six kilometres to get home now. So We'll have a drink. Cheers. And just a quick snack. And then we'll head off. I'm looking forward to the short steep bit at the beginning. But still, mostly it's downhill going back. That's the last uphill. This is where we took one of the detours. Waste of time they were. Now it's all downhill. But first, make up some more drink. So last time we were here we were on kilometre four. And now we're on 8,500 so 4K is still home. Not far now. the campsite over there. So we walked across the top of the dam last time. 
Now we'll go down below it. A couple of cattle grates. And we go through the carry cleaning station again. Well, we made it. Not that far, 11.9 k's. So that's all right, feel good. Now we have to put the tent up. That's my line pack. Carry the gear well, too much. Probably 18 kilograms today with all the camera gear it's my new Xmid P2 with a solid inner uh, it's different from my other one because it's got clips at the bottom of the fly and I thought my one was a Mark II but it can't be, it must be a Mark I oh well and it's my quilt the expert bed and fair down silk liner should be comfortable. Good morning, all. You can see, it's breakfast time, and I am cheating a bit because I bought a fry pan and the sausages. Well, they just happen to be in the car, so I'm just going to cook the sausages for breakfast in the fry pan, although I was originally going to cook them on the Soto Navigator, but it's much easier in the fry pan. Yeah, our first cup of tea. Cheers. It's nine degrees, and it's cool. Anyway, breakfast is going to be sausages with an egg and a piece of bread. It's going to be our lunch today. So, well, it could be our lunch today. Piece of bread, tomato. This is the lunch bag. Normally we'd have a cock for that, but uh, this is just a, oh, it's actually a Danish salami today. Oh, we've got some cheese as well. Don't know if I'll have that for breakfast. Anyway, we'll get on with this. I feel good today. Nothing sore. Heat the pita bread up. Prepare a few tomatoes. For those days, but I don't think it is. Some heirloom tomatoes. Be some salt and pepper in the fry pan, handy. One more, although I don't think it'll fit in, but. And, oh, unfortunately, that's in there. 
Of course, that will slide off that. We did bring an egg to have with dinner last night, so... Oh. It's a chopping board now, no? Obeying first rule of cook, cutting away from you. <laughs> Such is life. That was delicious. Much better than porridge. Here's the other chopping bit. garlic sausages as well. Having a garlic breakfast. Here's my rag got to go. Oh. Drying on the fence. He's done the usual, I'm going to fall off the thing trick, haven't you? That's enough of that. I suppose you might put a bit of salt on the egg. Apparently we're going to put a lot of salt on there. Mmm, excellent. Little number. Cheers. Breakfast is served. Nice way to start the day. So, what we've got to do now is, when we finished relaxing and had a coffee, hopefully the sun might have come up enough to dry something. Probably not. So I've got to fly the drone today, unfortunately. So, we'll go and pick the drone up and we'll go and fly it. <laughs> 